Before you proceed with the method in this guide, as suggested on the error prompt, you can wait a bit and then try updating or launch the game again, or simply restart your computer and see if the error reappears. Method 1. Reinstall Gaming Services Type in regedit in Windows search and press enter. Once user account control warning shows up, click yes. Navigate to the following location as shown on the screen. Scroll down until you find Gaming Services and Gaming Services Net. Right click and press delete on both of them. Now, restart your computer, then open PowerShell with administrative privilege, and run the following command. In the UAC window, click yes to confirm your activity. After running all the commands and reinstalling Gaming Services Registry key and app, check if the issue is fixed. Method 2. Reset Xbox app. Open the start menu and click on the settings icon. Click on the system. Next, click on apps and features in the left panel. Expand the Xbox app and open advanced settings. Scroll down and click reset. Method 3. Reset Microsoft Store. With issues related to Microsoft Store apps, if resetting the app in question wasn't helpful, you can reset Microsoft Store to resolve the issue. Method 4. Uninstall and reinstall the game. This method requires you to uninstall the game you're trying to update or launch that's triggering the error. Once you have the game completely uninstalled, recommend you use a third-party program uninstaller, you can then reinstall the game on your Windows PC. Method 5. Install the game on an external drive. Insufficient storage space on your Windows computer local drive could be the culprit here. In this case you can free up disk space on your internal drive and try updating or launching the game again. If the error persists, you can install the game to an external drive to fix the error or try the next method. Method 6. Perform System Restore. If up until now you were able to launch or update your Xbox games on your Windows PC without issues, it's likely your system has undergone some changes you are not aware of. In this case, you can restore your system to an earlier point prior to when you started having the issue. Method 7. Reset Windows. Open Settings. Click on Update and Security. In the left pane, select Recovery. Now in the right pane, under Reset this PC, click on Get Started. Follow the on-screen instructions carefully. 